The Ninja is a very popular brand of blender. It's a great blender. I have a Ninja, but that's why I find myself in the position that I'm in right now. And what happened was I knocked over the picture of the Ninja, lid popped off, as well as the release button, which is an essential part of the lid. It allows you to remove the lid from the picture of the blender. It unlocks this handle portion. And so without the release button, you might find yourself wondering, how do I get this lid off of the picture with no release button? Can I put the release button back in? So right now, actually, uh, a good resolution you would think would be to buy a new lid, especially if you find it kind of annoying to try to put this button back in or make it work. But right now on Ninja's website, they are completely sold out of these lids. They price at about $21, and so I don't know what's going on with people in the pandemic, if they're also knocking their lids off the top of uh, the picture of their blender or what. And pictures are available with the lids, but those are $65. So there is a way to go about handling this uh, that is free and you could wait and decide if you want to purchase a new lid or go about doing this technique I'm about to show you. As you can see, the release button has popped off, but what's important here are these two tabs as they actually control the release, so that will be really helpful. Now let's put the lid on top of the pitcher and lock it into place. Take a butter knife, locate that tab we saw, push down, and the handle comes right up and you can remove the lid from the pitcher. So while that won't make for the most visually pleasant looking technique and you've got a blender without a button, it at least allows you to use your Ninja in the meantime while you decide whether you want to purchase a new lid or not and care that much about the efficiency of a release button or if you just want to go ahead and use the efficiency of a butter knife and save yourself $21. Well, that's it. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them below. Please do like this video if it helped you. Any questions, leave them below. And please do subscribe to the channel for more such videos, as no doubt, either myself or my dogs will continue to knock things over and break them, and I'll have to figure out ways to still make them function.